Ever wondered what to do in Barcelona? Or maybe you thought it's just about soccer and sangria? Welcome to the city where every street corner tells a story, and every sunset brings a new kind of light to its beautiful architecture. From the whimsical creations of Antoni Gaudi to the bustling energy of La Rambla, Barcelona is a treasure trove of sights, sounds, and tastes. Whether it's the historic Gothic Quarter or the serene views from Montjuic, there's no shortage of wonders to explore. Stick around, and you might just find some hidden gems beyond the usual tourist traps. First stop, the fantastical world of Antoni Gaudi. If you ever wondered what a city designed by a wizard might look like, welcome to Barcelona, where Gaudi turned his architectural dreams into concrete realities. Let's start with the Sagrada Familia, a church so intricate and grand, you'd think it was constructed by angels rather than humans. It's been under construction for over a century, and they say it might finally be finished by 2030-something. Talk about being fashionably late. Next, amble over to Park Güell, where Gaudi's imagination ran wild in the form of serpentine benches and mosaic dragons. It's like stepping into a fairy tale. Only the characters are made of tiles and the trees are watching. And don't forget Casa Batlo, with its bone-like balconies and scales that shimmer like a dragon's back under the Spanish sun. Honestly, it's less of a building and more of a permanent resident in a fantasy novel. And you thought your house was cool? Wait till you see what's next. Hungry? Let's teleport to La Boqueria. Ah, La Boqueria Market. A vibrant tapestry of colors and scents that captures the essence of Barcelona's culinary spirit. Imagine strolling through a maze of stalls, each bursting with fresh fruits that look like they've been polished to perfection. From glistening strawberries to exotic dragon fruit, it's a fruit lover's paradise. Now take a deep breath. That intoxicating aroma? Fresh pastries. From flaky croissants to sweet custard tarts, these treats are a feast for the senses. And just when you think you've smelled all there is, the scent of freshly brewed coffee wafts through the air, promising a perfect pick-me-up. Amidst the hustle and bustle, you'll find yourself shoulder to shoulder with both locals and tourists, each exploring the rich tapestry of tastes. And oh, the dilemma of choosing between 20 types of ham. It's like trying to pick a favorite child. Enjoying so far? If so, please like and subscribe to our channel. It helps us out a lot. With our bellies full, let's roll on to our next adventure. Time to swap our walking shoes for flip-flops. Ah, the sun-kissed shores of Barcelona. Imagine the golden sands of Barceloneta Beach stretching out before you like a warm, welcoming mat. Here, the Mediterranean laps at the shore with a rhythm as relaxing as a lullaby. But don't be fooled. Barceloneta isn't just for lounging. Volleyball nets stand like sentinels, waiting for the next high-energy match. And the winds? They're practically putting out a personal invitation for windsurfing. And hey, why not channel your inner child and master the art of sandcastle building? You might not win any architectural awards, but you'll definitely score high on the fun scale. Picture this, moats, drawbridges, and maybe a sandy dragon or two. It's construction work with a twist, where the only hard hat you'll need is a sun hat. After a day of spiking volleyballs, riding the wind, and building empires in the sand, it's time to shift gears. After soaking up the sun, let's soak up some culture. Feeling artsy? Picasso's got you covered. Barcelona is not just a city, it's a canvas splashed with the vibrant colors and bold strokes of artistic geniuses like Pablo Picasso and Joan Miro. Imagine strolling through the narrow, twisting streets that inspired Picasso during his formative years. Yes, those very streets where he probably bumped into things while pondering the aesthetic of asymmetry. Now step into the hallowed halls of the Picasso Museum. Here you can witness his famous blue period and no, it's not just Picasso feeling blue about his laundry not being done. It's an evocative display of his profound depth and emotion. And if you think that's deep, wait until you try to decipher the abstract wonders at the Fondatio Joan Miro. You'll find yourself wondering if it's a profound commentary on the universe or just Miro forgetting to put his glasses on. Art isn't just for the galleries as our next stop will show. Ready to hit the streets? Literally. Let's meander through the Gothic Quarter where the past and present perform a mesmerizing dance. Picture this. Narrow medieval streets that weave and wind like a labyrinth designed by a particularly mischievous architect. It's a place where GPS signals go to retire so you might as well pocket that phone and let the cobblestones be your guide. As you lose yourself quite literally in the Gothic Quarter, every turn brings a surprise. Here, a tiny boutique selling handmade jewelry that looks like it was crafted by elves. 
There, a quirky cafe where the coffee is strong enough to wake a hibernating bear and the pastries could probably win awards. Getting lost here isn't a misstep, it's a rite of passage. And just when you think you've seen all, a lively square bursts into view, bustling with artists, musicians, and locals soaking up the Barcelona vibe. From historical lanes to magical fountains, our journey continues. Ever seen a fountain dance? Welcome to the Magic Fountain of Montjuic, a spectacle that combines water, light, and music in a dazzling display. Nestled at the foot of Montjuic Hill, this fountain is not just a place to make a wish, it's where you go to see your dreams choreographed to a symphony of lights and sounds. Imagine this, as the sun sets, the fountain springs to life, shooting water up to 70 meters in the air. That's about the height of an 18-story building, folks. It's like watching the Earth's own fireworks show, accompanied by a playlist that spans classical to contemporary hits. Who needs a nightclub when you've got this aquatic DJ spinning tracks through jets and sprays? The magic fountain of Montjuic is more than just a show. It's an experience that captivates and enthralls, making even the most stoic visitors break into a smile. While the fountain's rhythms fade, the rhythm of the night is just beginning. Barcelona never sleeps and neither will we. As the sun sets over the Mediterranean, the city just starts to stretch its legs. Imagine a place where the night is just a fresh canvas and every street an artist eager to paint with lights and laughter. Now let's take a stroll through El Raval, where the nightlife isn't just alive, it's like a carnival of cosmopolitan spirits. Here, the bars are buzzing with stories from every corner of the globe. It's the kind of place where you can sip a cocktail and somehow end up dancing flamenco, or trying to at least. Not far from there, Poblisec offers a slightly different flavor. This neighborhood is like the cool cousin of Barcelona's nightlife, where trendy tapas bars meet quirky little theaters. The energy here, absolutely electric. The locals claim it's powered by tapas and good vibes. Sounds about right. As the night winds down, so does our tour. But wait, there's more. Saving the best for last, food. As we wrap up this adventure, let's dive into the heart of Catalan cuisine, where every bite tells a story. Imagine strolling through bustling markets, the air filled with the intoxicating aromas of sizzling seafood and spicy chorizo. First stop, paella. Not just a dish, but a cultural icon here in Barcelona. It's a vibrant canvas of saffron-infused rice brimming with ocean treasures and earthy meats. Each spoonful captures the essence of Spanish coastal life. Next, the ever-popular tapas. Small in size but huge in flavor, these little dishes range from olives and cheeses to bravas and bambas. Perfect for sharing or not, we won't judge. And for a true taste of local flavor, try your tongue at P-A-A-M-B Tomake. Go on, say it five times fast. It's a simple yet beloved snack of bread rubbed with tomato and drizzled with olive oil. I hope you've enjoyed this whirlwind tour of Barcelona as much as I have. Well, that's a wrap on our Barcelona adventure. From the whimsical wonders of Gaudi's architecture to the vibrant bustle of Mercado, each moment was a feast for the senses. We soaked up the sun on the city's inviting beaches and let our creative spirits soar among stunning artworks. Barcelona's lively streets and enchanting nights have left us spellbound. Remember, every corner of this city offers a story waiting to be discovered by you. Until next time, keep wandering, keep wondering, and keep laughing.